Well, the doctor is in, and today it is pediatrician Dr. Courtney Sauls from Ascension St. John Pediatric and Adolescent Medicine. Thanks for joining us. Thanks for having me. Okay, so obviously it's the summertime. A lot of people are outside. They're yeah. spending time with their families. There's so many fun activities to do during the spring and summer. Yes. So, of course, our topic today is sunscreen. Yes. Okay, so when it comes to sunscreen, what are your best recommendations? As always, I know you brought some lovely props. Oh yes, I've got my props with me. So there are a little bit different um, varieties of sunscreen based on the age of your child. So if they're newborns all the way up to six months of age, you wanna avoid sunscreens. Um, do lots of hats and sunshades, long light clothing, um, a stroller shade, those types of things for your little babies. And then starting at six months of age, you can use a sunscreen. We use mineral-based sunscreen for More mineral yeah so mineral based it contains zinc oxide in it and it's FDA approved to be very safe um, it's one of the most safest kinds of sunscreen it is a mineral based it comes on thicker so you have to rub it in a little bit better um, but it's very safe for your children and so SPF 30 to 50 is just fine anything more than 50 is not gonna do anything different so don't worry about buying something really really high strength at the store it's not gonna do anything I also love for our little ones um, these sunscreen sticks I use these for That's my boys cute. and so you can throw these in the diaper bag have it in the car um, or your purse and you just apply it on and then rub it in I also love my little mom trick is um, these little concealer brushes <laughs> that you can get and use that to really rub in all the sunscreen on your child because they're all wiggly and moving around so sometimes that can be really hard and then your regular sunscreens that we know as adults are your chemical based sunscreens and so those are like your spray sunscreens or your regular ones that you see at the store. Um, those are okay to use, but even adults can use the zinc oxide containing ones. The tricky thing is sometimes these spray ones, these aerosolized sunscreens can be irritants to the lungs. So if you have a child that has asthma or any issues like that, you'll wanna avoid the spray sunscreens or any sunscreens containing oxybenzone because that can be harmful to the skin and your body. Okay, and so if you or your child does get burned, what do you suggest as far as treating it? What do you have to say about that? Yeah, so you'll wanna cool off that skin as quickly as possible so getting really cool wash rags or towels and laying that on your child's skin and you're gonna want to make sure that they stay really hydrated because burned skin gets heat out really quickly so make sure that they're hydrating with water and then pain control with Tylenol or ibuprofen is great if the skin is really really painful blistering all the way around that's when you're gonna want to see the doctor or even consider going to the emergency room Okay, perfect. Well, Dr. Sauls, thanks so much Thank for joining you. us as always. 